Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm MeetZ69, welcome back to the channel. Now of course the update is here, so a lot of the content on this channel, and to be fair, everybody other everyone else's uh, channel will probably be about the the new update there's loads of different tanks uh, to revisit there's loads of different tanks that have been rebalanced uh, and there are a lot of them that have changed massively so of course we will be revisiting um, some tanks one of those of course as I've said will be the VZ55 uh, because it has the new uh, the new gun it's got an auto loader we'll also be taking Taking a look at the E100, but with the stock gun, um, and there's many other tanks on the uh, in the update that we will be taking a look at. So pretty much all next week uh, will be we've got new tanks coming. Of course, we do have the the season tanks. We've also got the new rating battles tank, which is the G Saw Fearless, which again we will be taking a look at uh, very very soon. In fact. We do actually have that tank, so uh, we will be taking a look at this tank in the coming days. But today, today we will be focusing our uh, this video on this tank right here. Not this one. Let me just uh, where is it? Uh, this one right here, the Lech Panzer 70K. Now. This is a brand new tank that today will be released. Probably crates, which. Uh, um, but it looks it looks weird. It, where's the turret? I don't know. The turret has literally been squashed. Um, so it's a very difficult tank to deal with when you're in the right situation or right, right position just because of the lack of turret that it's got. You know, if you go down in, in a hold down position, usually your turret is just showing. This doesn't have a turret. Uh, it's no turret whatsoever. Uh, basically just behind the gun and frontally you can't really see the turret um, it is again it's not the best of tanks it's it looks the part it looks weird but it isn't the best of tanks um, so we're going to have a look at the stats of course there is no armor whatsoever on the tank it is a light tank so you do have to bear that in mind that you're not going to get many bounces in this tank i mean 35 on your hull and 50 on the, the turret that you do have. Uh, your DPM, 2,341. So it is a little bit low uh, on DPM, to be fair. That's very low on the DPM. That is with rust running uh, calibrated shells. So you could get that up a little bit higher. Uh, but to be fair, I, I think you need the penetration. That's at 8.171 second reload. Your penetration, 251 on your AP, 319 on your heat, and 59 on your HE. So yeah, coming up against tier eights, no problem with the pen at all. And to be fair, you should get through most things uh, with uh, in tier 10 with that. But it's definitely a tank that is going to struggle uh, against tier 10s. Uh, your AP pen is 300 and uh, so your AP damage is 340, 290 on your heat and 430 on your HE. Good aim time at 2.9, same as the gun dispersion, not too bad at 0.317. You've got 7 degrees of gun depression, uh, which I think could be more. Because of the lack of turret, it'd be nice if it had better gun depressions. Uh, I know it may be OP if it hasn't got a turret and you've got just a gun poking around uh, over a hill, then maybe it could be uh, overpowered. And your top speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Um... So yeah, I mean, it feels okay. It doesn't feel anything, uh, anything too special. Let's have a. We've got two games, but we'll only show one. Uh, but both games are pretty, uh, pretty similar. To be fair, to be fair, this is probably the the better game. Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks okay. It looks like it doesn't have any armor. Uh, it's just the turret. It's just the turret that could be very, very nice if you are in a hold down position, of course, because there is just nothing there. Um, so would I recommend it right now? No, I would not because again, it is crates. I don't think there's anything too special about the tank. Uh, I do think there's better light tanks in tier nine. Uh, and I think again, there is a, I, I do believe there's a couple of things that they could have changed. Uh, again, they could have maybe gave it a few more degrees of gun depression. Uh, they could have gave it uh, better DPM, of course, because I think the DPM is kind of low, uh, especially if you do come up against tier 10s. If you're coming up against tier 10s in this thing, uh, these Russian mediums are absolutely just 
going to annihilate you with their DPM. Uh, over a thousand more DPM than you have. So uh, yeah, I think it could have had better, uh, better DPM if you're asking me. But right now, if it is crates, I, I would not recommend this tank. I, I would wait to see if it does come uh, available at all uh, for gold in the coming months. Of course, it's not going to come in within the next couple of months. But uh, yeah, it's one of those tanks where... I always look at the tanks now. I didn't used to. I used to be one of those that just buys everything that uh, comes out. Any new tank, I used to just buy. Uh, nowadays, to be fair, I don't really buy anything. But it is... I do look and I do try and recommend to people how I would buy tanks and why I would buy tanks. Uh, and the way I see that is, if you buy this tank, how often... Are you going to play the tank? Are you going to get your money's worth? Is it going to be one of those tier 9 tanks that you just get in and go because you want to? No, it isn't one of them tanks. You know you've got tanks like, say, the Chieftain Mark VI. You know, I know it's uh, just a random tank. I know it's a tier 10 tank. But that is a tank that you could just get in and go just to play. Uh, and and I, I kind of look at tanks like that now. Um, the, Can, the Carnarvon, the Action X, you know, a tier 8 tank. That's one of those tanks where, yes, I definitely would play it. I'd play it in ratings, I would play it in tournaments, and I would just play it. Um, if I just want to play tier 8, that is a tank that I would play. This is not one of that. I'm not saying it's a bad tank. I'm, like, I'm not sitting there saying this is an absolutely shit tank. I'm not saying that. Uh, but... When I kind of recommend tanks now, if I sit there and say, Do you know what, this is a very good buy, I, I, would, I would buy this tank. I, I, I don't, I very rarely do that anymore, unless it's a really, really good bundle. I very rarely do that. But if it is going to be one of those tanks where I sit there and, Do you know what, you can have mega fun in this tank. You really can have fun in this tank. So yeah, no matter how much you pay for it, it'll be worth it. Even if you had to pay £50, £100, uh, if you played it every single day for the next freaking two years, then that £100 is actually worth it. Whereas if you go and spend £100 on a tier 10 tank or a tier 9 tank, and actually you're going to ace the tank and never play it again, then it's not worth it. And again, this isn't one of those tanks that you're going to get in um, and you're going to play often. You may play it to try and get the ace, of course, because there are people that do chase the ace. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think it, it, it is one of those tanks where you're going to have mega, mega, mega fun in, unfortunately. Uh, you can have good battles. Again, you can have good battles. Uh, I just think there's a few things missing from the tank for me to turn around and say, do you know what? This is mega fun. If it had 10 degrees of gun depression, I would probably be saying this is mega, mega fun. But unfortunately, it doesn't. Uh, I'm probably glad it doesn't because maybe, again, it could be a little bit uh, overpowered if it did have uh, big, big gun depression because of just how there is no turret. Just because there is no turret. No idea how he, uh, how, how did he die? It just said he destroyed. Um, is that a new thing? I don't know, because I'm sure my uh, K91 on my team actually killed him, uh, but it said he killed himself. No idea how, it, how that just happened. Um, but yeah, that is my overall uh, opinion on the tank. I don't think it is anything special, um, but you know, you can still have good games in it. I just think there are better tanks out there. Uh, to have fun in, especially if you do look at sort of the light tanks uh, in tier 9. You've got the T92. I get that it's completely, completely different. The Object 84 is actually a decent tank. Uh, the Bat Chat, I, I love the Bat Chat uh, 25T. Um, you know, again, it is a tank that you can have fun. And I get these are different tanks. This is an auto loader. Uh, this is a big gun, uh, an ex rocket gun. And this is uh, this is just kind of eh, just a normal uh, a normal tank. Uh, but let me know your opinion. Let me know if you have the tank and what you think of this tank. But for now, hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meadzy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.